Yeah, the, the highlight for me is just watching a parent at the end of the ramp as a student comes down with their, with their diploma. Uh, it is a life achievement for not only them, but, but for their families. Um, and it, in many cases, it changes the trajectory of that family's life. To realize how much Thomas had an impact on our business being successful and being able to take a few of the harder steps that you have to in order to succeed. Thomas has offered so many different opportunities for me, academically, emotionally, professionally. You know, Thomas was that community that came to me and said, you know, we're gonna help you through your journey of your personal life and your school life and you can do it. And I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. I graduated with a 3.2 and I loved it. It was great. Just, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't have a career if I didn't come to Thomas. Like, I wouldn't be so happy in my firm right now. Um, I wouldn't have grown so much if I didn't come here, so I just want to give back as much as I can. It's just so important to be sure that Thomas continues to succeed and give the, give the young adults the opportunity to get that education and to get that foundation and then to start their careers. Today we're very excited and proud to announce a $27 million campaign to guarantee the future. Within this campaign, our investments in critical scholarships to keep our education affordable and accessible to our students. We are building our physical plant by adding an athletic facility that will serve our athletics department and the community around the greater Waterville area. Uh, we are adding student success supports and unparalleled career development opportunities for our students. But we set a big goal because we knew what it was going to take to grow this little school to a grander scale that could enable our students to continue to have that success. We're also pleased to partner with Jobs for Maine's graduates as part of this campaign. JMG is a tremendous partner who provides the same kind of tailored, personal, career-focused supports that our students have grown to know and deserve. We're going through a real challenging time right now. It's tough on everybody, and it may get worse before it gets better. But it's gonna get better, and we have to start building the foundation for a better Maine now, and Thomas is a real important member of that team. It's important to the Alphon Foundation, because it's in Waterville, it's a well-led institution, it's got a great president, it's got a great board, and it's got the best of students. And as part of the main team to make Maine a better place, a more prosperous place for the future, uh, we couldn't be more pleased than to announce our $13.5 million grant uh, to this great little school. We are a college that just is the, the little engine that could and we've been able to survive and thrive um, through all of the many challenges we've faced over the years. And so um, the Harold Alphon Foundation is just a part of our college's history and now a huge part of our college's future. With this ambitious goal, we have come so far. In fact, we have less than $1 million left to go. Our hope now is to include our Thomas community in making this a reality for our students today and in the future, with support at all levels making a true difference. The right people and supporters and stakeholders of the college stepped up and really, really um, kind of put their foot in the ground and said, we're gonna support this campaign. We understand it, we believe in it, we understand its importance. We're all able to come together and work towards a common goal, which I think is really special. And the campaign is just like the outline of that. So what really happens is the students, the staff, the community, the alumni all come together. And I think that's like the most special part about it. Just a school being able to um, go out and, and raise money for students to um, you know, be able to help them excel out in the community is pretty, it's great. If we gave something to Thomas to start with, and then because we did, somebody else did, that's what makes it grow, or vice versa. We saw somebody else do it, and, and of course, you need results, and, and in my mind, they are getting results. 
they, they, uh, and they, the people you talk to that go there, and I suppose there's an exception, but most of them that I've talked to, they're really excited about, about going there. The students get uh, a good bang for their buck. You know, here at Thomas, there they get a good education, and it's not overly expensive. I mean, they have an incredible fac faculty, you know, an unbelievable administration, and they're all focused and committed on making the students successful. Um, and that, for us, was key and why, you know, we wanted to give to this campaign. It's our privilege and our honor to give to these upcoming students that are trying so hard in this environment, this world as it is, to make something of themselves and to find employment. And I think it's, it's just our, our honor to do this. And we're talking about the future of Central Maine. We're talking about these students' future. That's really what um, you know. We think of it in terms of the campaign that is it allows for so many of our students um, to be lifted and to and to be able to um, collectively have an experience that then they can go out and, um, as Thomas alums, as Rich was saying, and um, and influence uh, the state and beyond uh, in a positive way. And without an educated population, uh, you can't have success. Uh, in the short and long term. You gotta uh, stay after it all the time. And uh, we believe in it and we wanna support those areas that will help build the state and keep the state being a successful entity. Uh, what I did was I, I was at a, a spot in my life where I wanted to help Thomas and I also wanted to do something in my wife's memory. And that morphed itself into starting an endowed scholarship. And then the next step from there was actually increasing the scholarship by participating in the campaign. So to kind of come back around full circle, um, when we're talking to people about supporting the college, it's kind of about finding that passion or that interest, uh, something about the school that, that, that's special to them and then talking about how they could help through the campaign. I received personally a lot from the college, so to be able to give back, at least in a small way, is important. And like I said, education is, is my tops of what I'm looking at when I'm, when I'm looking, when I, when I have the money to give. Yeah, right. <laughs> because every gift matters. It's a vote of confidence for our school and for our children. You know, we, we, we receive money from a number of folks who say, I'm gonna give you money, but I expect to see results. Fair enough. And Thomas always meets or exceeds the commitments that it makes in terms of deliverables. The trustees and, and all of the people involved just believing that, that Thomas is ready to step up to the next level, and this campaign proves it. Worthwhile result happens every May when you see those kids cross the stage and get after it. That, that's really the, the, uh, the primary motivation to, to do this. We're doing something important. Storybox Audio.